Say hello to Brainyard, our channel's loyal test subject. Give the viewers a big smile, Brainyard. See those pearly whites? Like most of us, Brainyard brushes and flosses every day, just like doctors recommend. But what would happen if Brainyard lost his toothbrush? For good. Would his teeth rot and fall out of his mouth? Would his lack of oral hygiene somehow affect the rest of his body too? Let's find out. The human mouth performs a lot of important functions, but it's quite a yucky place. A warm, moist part of the body that is often filled with food particles? Yeah, you can see why bacteria find it so attractive. It's their favorite favorite neighborhood. By brushing his teeth daily, Brainyard keeps these bacteria in check, but stop brushing and things quickly start spiraling out of control. Without brushing, Brainyard's teeth will soon be stained by drinks like coffee and wine, while the gaps in his mouth slowly fill with micro fragments of food. These food fragments will begin to rot over time, giving off an awful smell from his mouth and making it exceedingly difficult for Brainyard to get a date. This condition, however, which is known medically as halitosis, and colloquially as stank breath, is just the tip of the iceberg. Left unchecked, the bacteria in Brainyard's mouth will also quickly begin multiplying and feeding on the food remnants in his mouth, creating a substance known as plaque. You've definitely felt plaque before. It's the gross, sticky film in your mouth when you wake up in the morning. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. We usually brush this film away ASAP because, well, it's disgusting, but if you leave it on long enough, plaque can transform into a harder substance called tartar or calculus. As if calculus wasn't hard enough already. Tartar develops between Brainyard's teeth, on the front and the back, and on his gum line. Unfortunately for Brainyard, this localized buildup of bacteria is devastating for his teeth, damaging areas on the surfaces and opening up little holes known as cavities. Once formed, these cavities further compromise his oral health. If not filled properly, they'll begin to harbor little pockets of bacteria within his teeth that will start eating at his bone and causing periodontal disease, also known as gum disease. But more on that in a second. After all, your body doesn't leap from plaque to full-blown gum disease overnight. There are some warning signs in between. Well, one commonly known warning sign at least, and that is gingivitis. Gingivitis is essentially an early form of gum disease, before it starts getting destructive. Often caused by plaque buildup, gingivitis is characterized by angry, red, swollen gums that are painful to the touch, and that may bleed when brushed or flossed. While not all cases of gingivitis turn into gum disease, all gum disease begin as gingivitis. Fortunately for most, you can reverse gingivitis by brushing and flossing thoroughly. Unfortunately for Brainyard, he's gonna have to keep suffering through it until it turns into periodontal disease. That's right, it's back. Now, if you thought bleeding gums are bad, just wait till you see the full-blown gum disease in our friend Brainyard. With the development of cavities, bacteria will start multiplying and creating enzymes that eat through the bone. This, in turn, will create more room for bacteria to grow, which creates more enzymes, which eat through more bone, and so on and so forth, until his mouth becomes a deteriorating mess, full of bacteria and devoid of teeth entirely. As the bacteria start burrowing into his inner layer of gums, Brainyard's body will make a last-ditch effort to protect itself by burning some bridges, so to speak, and destroying its own gums and ligaments, causing his bacteria-laden teeth to fall loose. At this point, Brainyard will be in near constant pain, while putting any cold, hot, or sugary foods in his mouth will cause the pain to skyrocket. With his mouth in such a state, it's possible that Brainyard could develop a super severe infection that can only be remedied with emergency surgery. And these are just the mouth-based problems Brainyard will be dealing with. However, a dirty mouth affects more than just your teeth and gums. If the bacteria in your mouth manages to enter your bloodstream through your gums, it can stress out your entire immune system, causing diseases like pneumonia, heart attacks, strokes, and more. Of course, everyone's oral health is different. After a year without brushing, some people may develop cavities, but no gum disease. Others may have full-blown periodontitis. A lucky handful may develop no health problems at all, though there's no way to escape the stained teeth and stinky breath. However, we recommend you keep brushing, and so do the people who've stopped. Rennie Deckert, a Cora user, stopped brushing his teeth at age 12. He's since had 11 teeth pulled due to massive face infections, has five partly broken teeth, and three teeth with dark spots. Meanwhile, a person named Jay on the British TV show Embarrassing
brushing bodies has found his teeth in a similar state after 20 years of not brushing, with Jay's dentist screwing a titanium base into his jawbone so he can receive implants. Both men practically begged viewers not to follow their footsteps and practice good oral hygiene from a young age. Being unable to eat and having people recoil from the side of your mouth will give you perspective, we suppose. Now you may be asking, if brushing our teeth is so important, how did humans survive before toothbrushes? It's actually a good question. For starters, human beings always understood the importance of oral hygiene, with evidence of primitive civilizations fashioning makeshift toothbrushes and toothpicks out of sticks and twigs. However, more importantly, the human diet is vastly different to what it used to be. Carby, weedy, high sugar, and acidic products are commonplace and consumed by humans across the world, and these are foods that oral bacteria thrive on. As a result, maintaining good oral hygiene practices is way more important today than it was 10,000 years ago. Ultimately, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. You can either have stained, stinky, gross teeth that are falling out of your infected mouth, or you can brush your teeth for two minutes twice a day. The choice is yours. Oh, and Brainyard, here's your toothbrush. Try not to lose it again, will you? And hey, in other Brainiac news, we have some winners from our recent caption contest. Congratulations to our two favorite captions posted by Battle Brothers and TTV Sweaty Fish BTW RNG Dark Fishy. Hey, that's my mother's maiden name. If you'd like to have a caption featured in one of our upcoming videos, make sure to go check out our community tab and see all the posts going on there.